So do you want to start a meal delivery business not sure where to get started or what are the steps to create a profitable meal delivery business online? In this video I'm going to give you the ultimate tutorial on how to get your meal delivery business started and we're going to get into it right now what is a meal delivery business anyways. A meal delivery business is a collection of pre-made, made-to-order meals, with ingredients that make up the components of a recipe. A meal delivery business creates and assembles meals along with a recipe in each box and each customer gets to prepare the meal at home with ease. Some of the ingredients are either cooked or raw vegetables or partially cooked or even ready to bake making it easy and simple for the consumer to make a meal without cooking. The main idea behind a meal delivery business is to save the consumer time and effort in the kitchen while making a healthy dinner fast and easy for their entire family. Welcome to Marketing Food Online YouTube's premier food entrepreneur channel with over 800 free videos to help you get your food business up and running make sure you subscribe like and turn on the bell notifications so you can get notice of all our new videos now let's get started. 1. Choose a meal prep business model. Now that you're interested in starting a meal delivery service, it's time to choose the concept. So there are a few questions you need to ask yourself about getting started with a meal delivery business also who exactly is your customer and what are the potential nutritional needs or allergies. Types of foods you can offer. So, what are you cooking? Are you an expert in a certain global or regional cuisine? If so, this could be an exceptional way to introduce traditional recipes and ingredients to potential customers that may be unfamiliar, but want to learn. You can also create a fusion concept where you take different aspects from two or more cuisines and blend them together into new recipes. If you aren't an expert in a specific international cuisine, try framing your concept around ideas like healthy meals or comfort foods. Your meal prep business could also be about experiencing specialty ingredients that your customers have possibly never used in their cooking. Or, if your meal delivery service is centered around making the recipe from scratch, maybe your recipes can bring in various cooking applications so customers can try out different techniques in their own kitchen. Dietary needs So what type of dietary needs does your customer have? Could it be weight loss lifestyle or even food allergies? You need to consider these in order to build a menu to cater to as many people as possible. To really target all people and demographics, catering to specific needs is a smart business move so you never have to turn down a potential customer. Targeted demographics. Once you establish the idea of your food in menu who would this actually benefit and how are you going to reach them? The great thing about meal delivery business is that it appeals to a lot of interest could it be a family with four kids someone who loves to learn how to cook keep these different people in mind and that way you can approach your marketing with that if you're making pre-made dinners that just need to be heated, market to the families or busy people that don't have time to cook an extravagant meal at the end of the day. Another great reason to start a meal delivery business is that you can start small and grow into a national chain this type of business model can have a product ship anywhere in the country and satisfy millions of appetites sir. As you think about the three points above, think about what your niche will be so you can stand out from the competition. Are all of your fruits or vegetables saved from being thrown away because they're not up to cosmetic standards to be stocked in grocery stores? Is the meat in your recipes a specific type of game that most people don't eat daily or know how to cook? Whatever your niche is can also be one of your biggest marketing points. Number 2. Write a professional meal delivery business plan. Alright so now let's dive into the meal delivery business plan and what is it include and why is one important. Whether you are starting this concept from a commercial kitchen or just at home locally you'll definitely need to write a business plan and it benefits you in many ways let's discuss those. A business plan lays the foundation of your business and can help you get loans from investors, forecast your sales, stay organized with the tasks you need to complete, and map out any gray areas about operating your business. Your meal delivery business plan should include Executive summary company description concept and menu management and ownership structure employees and staffing needs market and competitor analysis advertising and marketing strategies financials. Number 3. Securing funds needed for your business. Now that you've written your meal delivery business plan you have an idea of your financial projections and how much funds you would actually need to get this business up and running. Even if you're starting a food delivery business from home, you'll need startup supplies to begin your meal kit business. So if you're working with a larger operation you're going to have supplies rent utilities salaries and also numerous other operational bills that will come up every month. From there you can create a budget and forecast how much money you'll need to apply for loans. Number 4. Secure a commercial kitchen space to work from. 
all right so now is the question about a commercial kitchen space find me one that is specifically going to benefit the type of meal delivery business you have is ultra important if you plan to operate your food delivery business from home you'll be running most of your operations from your personal kitchen if you're planning to operate a meal prep business on a larger scale you will most likely need a workspace that has enough square footage and professional equipment to keep up with the demand a ghost kitchen may be the best fit for your operation as you won't need to worry about having a front of house area. There's always the option of what is known as a ghost kitchen these allow you to tap into equipment and everything you need but you don't actually have a restaurant in the where customers would come in and sit down and eat. Now if you happen to actually own a restaurant and you want to add a meal delivery business this is a great another form of revenue. You can tap into what you already have as far as equipment, prep tables, sinks, ingredients and even employees. When looking for your workplace, find a suitable establishment that has separate areas for the following. What are the most important factors is your kitchen space. There should always have enough space in the kitchen area to create these meals keep in mind you're going to be packing numerous meals at once. Packaging, shipping area. Putting together and actually maintaining an organized workspace will allow you to prepare multiple meals at the same time without overstressing yourself or your staff. Shipping and distributing, make sure you have optimal refrigeration storage space to keep your meal kits cold before loading them onto the truck or taking it to a shipping center. Office space, a designated place for desks, computers, and phones for your accounting, marketing, and customer service teams. Staff business meeting room Once you have your commercial kitchen you need to have an office space dedicated to the business side of running your business if you happen to be meeting with potential investors or even clients that want to buy your meals make sure that you set aside space dedicated to running the business. It's the perfect place to start or end your tour of the facility. Number 5. Licenses and or permits needed to start. Starting a meal prep business from home or in a facility requires special permits. Below we've outlined which permits you will need to get your business off the ground and running. Apply for an employer identification number, I'm. You may need a seller's permit. Always apply for a business license. Your staff may need also food handler's license. If you decide to cater you would need a catering license. You will also need health department permits. Make sure your location is zoned properly zoning permits. You will also have to have a dumpster placement permit. If you plan on operating a meal prep delivery business from home, reach out to your local jurisdiction to make sure you are meeting all of the qualifications and acquiring the correct permits. Number 6. Meal Business Packaging and Containers To make your product, you will need the correct supplies to start making meal kits or meal prep food deliveries. Here are a few ideas of what you may need to get started. Initial ingredient list based on your projected sales, figure out how much ingredient inventory from your recipes you will need in your kitchen to make your meal kits. Buying in bulk is a great way to keep costs down, but throwing out spoiled food at the end of the day is throwing money in the garbage. Supplies for portion sizes before purchasing your meal packaging supplies, think about how you would like your partially cooked meals or pre-prepped ingredients to be presented when your customer opens up their box. Keep that presentation image in mind when you choose the size, material, and shape of your containers. If you're not changing up your menu too frequently, consider buying this type of container in bulk to save on costs. Shipping supply lists once your meals are packaged, it's time to put them in the designated boxes to get them shipped out. You'll need boxes, dry ice to keep everything cold, packing tape, and a printer for labels. Number 7. Shipping your meal delivery items. Making sure your customers' orders arrive cold and fresh is extremely important. To get it all in place to be done right the first time, figure out what cooling method you would like to use to keep your products safe, what shipping service you will use, and how much it will cost to ship one of your meal kits boxes. That way you'll know the shipping cost to charge your customers so you're not overcharging or undercharging. Number 8. Start an online meal delivery website. Your website is one of, if not the only, place where you will get your sales. Therefore, your website needs to be top-notch and performing at its best. Investing in a great website that's user-friendly is the best way to obtain sales. You can create websites for free by using Squarespace, Weebly, or Wix, and you can pay a small amount for domain names and cool business features. These types of websites also provide pre-made templates, so you can browse and select one that speaks to your business's aesthetic.
When choosing your template and creating your website, think about the colors, pictures, and fonts you will use to target your key demographic. If your concept prioritizes simple ingredients that make the meal easy to put together, try to keep the website minimalist. If your concept prioritizes plant-based eating, use bright, fun colors that match the hue of fresh vegetables. If your concept prioritizes omnivore eating, studies have shown that warm colors such as red, orange, and yellow make people hungrier rather than cool tones. You could also put drawings of animals and vegetables together in your design. Your website should have the following info. Meal variations. Show off all of your meal kits that you have to offer, as well as any set meal plans that allow customers to buy two or more meal kits for their week's meals. So how do customers order your meal delivery kits from your website? When it comes to selling meal kits online you need to specifically explain to your customer how it actually works. From ordering to the preparation the time frame to fill the order shipping and what they can expect when they actually get the order itself make sure that you spell out everything so there's really no question or misunderstanding. When your customer goes to buy your product pricing whether you're showing the price per meal or your set meal plans, it's important to be upfront about your cost. Use this page to help your customers understand that they can save on the price per meal when they shop in a bundle. Sometimes they are looking to do gifting. People love to give gifts that share a moment and make memories, and that's exactly what your meal kit does. Providing this option to gift a meal or week's bundle can drive up your sales. When someone buys the meals, provide a printable e-gift card option or a scheduled email. About us, your business's name, this is where you can describe the story of your business and convince your customer to pick your meal prep delivery business over the competition. Number 9. Finding the right help for your meal delivery business as you begin, you'll probably begin small. If you want to stay a small, local business, then that's great. You can also have a larger team if your goal is to roll out nationally. Either way, you'll need to hire kitchen staff, and maybe even marketers, accountants, and distributors to take the contents of a recipe card to the steps of a customer's front door. Cooks, trained, skilled, and knows the different knife cuts, cooks help get the meal prep work done and come up with recipes for future menu ideas. Marketing team having all of the product ready to go is one thing, but making it known and selling it to consumers is a whole other ballpark. Hire a marketer or two to help with advertising your meal prep business. Financial accounting. Keeping track of sales, expenses, and making sure everyone is paid on time, a trained accountant keeps your meal kit business's finances in order. When the orders start coming in, a packager helps with properly storing the food and creating the meal kits that your customers purchased. Everything needs to be sent out perfectly and safely, which will be your packager's top priority. Customer support. When customers have questions, comments, complaints, or compliments, you need to make sure they are heard and answered. Having a customer solutions specialist on the team to prioritize these problems can give you a step up with your customer service needs. Number 10. Marketing, advertising your meal prep business. Once you have your target demographic identified and have found ways to market yourself to be different from the competition, it's time to take that information and start advertising. Below are some great, and oftentimes free, ways to market and advertise your meal prep business. Social media. Social media is very very key especially in the today's business online and to have a presence on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook and any other social platform you can think of you need to have a presence because the more places you are the more likelihood that you're going to sell even more of your food meal delivery kits. Make sure you're using Instagram best practices to not only highlight your meal kits but also reach out to potential customers or let them find you. Email lists are amazing way to promote and inform customers of new products. Make newsletters monthly and make them draw in the customer with EITing news of new items. When using an email make sure to inform your customers of the new items and products as well as coupons and discounts to encourage them to buy directly from the email. Offer promotions to new customers. Utilizing this strategy is a great way to spread the word about your meal prep business. When a customer purchases a certain amount of meal kits, either all at once or over time, give them a gift certificate to send to a friend that offers one free meal kit. Don't forget about holidays Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's, Christmas throughout the year there is a great way to promote these holidays by giving them a discount code on your website for your meal kit. Does your business have returning customers will try our loyalty rewards program to encourage them to buy more. The best way to reward your returning customers is a program called a loyalty program you can actually encourage them to buy more by offering this type of a program for example, every 5 meal deliveries they buy, throw in a new one they haven't tried yet for free. 
if it's in the budget, using podcasts commercial breaks is a smart marketing investment. Let the show's hosts try out your meal kit for free so you know they'll love it, and give them a loose script with room for improvisation. Also keep in mind social media influences is a way to incorporate them into your marketing idea offering them free samples and letting them review your product through YouTube and other social media platforms will give you great exposure to new customers that you may not have ever guessed. That way they can effectively sell your meal kits and share their own experiences of cooking with them. Now that you have all of the information you need you need to take action remember to take small steps to achieve big goals but always have the big picture in mind. Whether you're creating meal kits or fully prepped meals to quickly heat up, you now know how to run the meal prep business and make a profit while doing it. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, start a home-based food business under the Cottage Food Law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, Get your own online store or sell food online. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.